What's up guys, it's Ryan and you're watching Ryan Vision out here with my beautiful wife Tanya and my dog Cooper, my lake dog. What's up buddy? So we just came out here to Folsom Lake. We're on the Bass Buggy 18 DLX and uh, came over here and tried the Hobie ramp today. Granite Bay ramp has been pretty sketchy, especially for our vehicle, having to get it real low into the water. Uh, so we decided to try this out. Rattlesnake Bar has been closed for a while now. That's actually our favorite ramp. It's the closest one to our house. Um, but we made it out here. The water's nice. The level is low, but still plenty of nice water to go out and have fun. Uh, so we're going to cruise around and uh, we'll find a beach. Let this guy do his thing. Huh, Coop? You going to go do your thing on the beach? Yeah, buddy. And uh, what are we cooking today, babe? Burgers. We're going to do burgers on the grill. Are they salmon burgers or? No, no, no salmon burgers this time. Beef yes. burgers? Beef burger for you, beyond patty. Beyond patty for the, for the veggie wife. And we'll be cooking those on the Kuma 160 back here, uh, which has been working out really good. It's probably not the cleanest right now, but she's been doing a great job. Just the right size for, uh, we usually have a crew of no more than four or five adults and one or two big dogs and it's been doing just fine and uh, you can see back here this is like my cooking station and also our cooler station so there's normally a uh, fishing chair right there a casting chair but it's a quick release so we pull that out keep all our food in here all our snacks and food and stuff and then in here we put a 20 pound bag of ice for all the drinks and uh, it works out really really well what's your favorite thing about the boat look at this yeah the the it's couch nice you yeah. like the couch yeah, the well couch cooper's cooper's fighting you for that though he tried, he tried, but it's mine. he's trying All to get mine. the the corner yeah i think my favorite thing is probably the double bimini i love the shade um the single bimini which you can tell it's kind of two different colors this lighter bimini that's the factory rear one and that's all you've got so this custom made front one here uh wow getting some waves here from a wake boat um this front custom one really makes a big difference it zips right to the rear one and then goes all the way to the front and has this aluminum frame that that clamps down and then uh, we just added this table recently magma 34 inch table and uh, that's been working out really well it's a fillet table for fish but i actually haven't even tried to catch any fish yet and we did some quick release uh scotty mounts on the bottom so when you're done using this thing or if you're not planning to use it it just pops right off and then you can easily easily store it so yeah everything's working out really well i think we've got it pretty much dialed uh for this season and uh yeah i think we're gonna go out do some swimming have some fun huh buddy Captain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
feet everywhere. Huh? Feet everywhere. Let's see if this bite. If it does, it should be good. Cool. Good, awesome. It's our first time anchoring in just muddy, sandy ground. We usually find a bush or a rock or something to wedge it in. This is the first time just sticking it in, so we'll see how it goes when we just stick it in. <laughs> yeah, buddy, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get you out on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Coop, coop, the lake dog. He wants to get out on this beach. Probably wants to do a potty. So, uh, we used to always beach. We used to just run the pontoons right up on the sand, but I started walking these beaches. You can see how many rocks there are. And what I started finding is a lot of pointy rocks right beneath the sand. The last thing we wanted to do is roll up on one of these beaches that looked nice and sandy and punch a hole in the pontoon. The pontoons are made of aluminum. They're not very thick. You can definitely punch a hole in them. If nothing else, you ding them up. So what we've been doing is anchoring at the bow and then just letting the boat, cause the waves kind of push it back here. And we just drop the ladder back there. And, and that way the boat's just floating. It's not sitting on the, all the weight, just on the pontoons on the shore. And uh, so I just got an anchor line tied up here to the pontoon and uh, not a very long rope. And I just went out and I manually set the anchor into the sandy, muddy bottom. I just went out there and wedged it in myself and then uh, stepped on it a few times. So it's holding pretty steady. I'll keep an eye on it. These things do like to drift. They're kind of like a sail, especially have this big bimini up. You get a little wind pushing on these side panels and it'll try to take off on you. So uh, I think this is going to be a nice little beach. We haven't stopped at this one. We usually go right over the other side, but there's some people there. So we're trying this one out, but it's nice sandy beach, shallow, uh, soft sand and mud under my feet right now. Got the engine trimmed up. The wife's getting all sexy, ready to hit the beach and we'll carry Coop on the back. Uh, we'll drop that ladder down a little bit and take him to the shore. But yeah, I think this will be nice. Nice little spot to get a little barbecue and go in and uh, have some burgers, have some beers, just talk, relax, swim. It's supposed to be just under 100 degrees today. It's about 11, 12 right now, so it'll be heating up pretty quick. But yeah, I think this is gonna work out really nice. I think this will be a perfect little spot to hang out today. Oh yeah, this is just the right, just the right depth for the ladder. The ladder is almost touching the ground, but not quite. Perfect. So I'll be able to climb up and down this to lift Cooper. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you may have already seen Cooper's leg brace. Um, he does have four legs, but his right front leg, uh, he suffered a nerve injury when I made a bad mistake and he fell out of my Jeep. I won't tell you that whole story now, but there's another video that explains that. And uh, basically that was probably close to a year and a half ago now. Um, it's been a while and he's made a full recovery except for that nerve injury. So we have a leg brace for him. He can't feel or use his right front paw, um, but we got a brace for him. You guys will see how that works. But basically what I'm getting at is I'm gonna have to uh, use this ladder to carry him I'll carry him over to the shore then he'll have his brace he can run around do his potties whatever he's got to do and then later on we'll take the brace off put his life vest on and uh, we'll actually let him do some swimming he usually swims a couple times a day sometimes three four times a day he loves to swim with his vest cools him down um, but you guys will see when he's got the brace on he gets around he just has a little trouble careful guys Easy. <laughs> to the shore we go. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs>
mark every rock. It's kind of like a less sexy version of Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Coop. Cooper. Oh my gosh. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. He's like pushing his legs yeah. on there. <laughs> so Coop, what do you think about the boat, bud? Huh? Is the boat helping you? Is it helping you out with this little leg situation here? Huh? So that leg brace just keeps... He can feel all this and he can control this, but you can see how his muscle's not as big as the other side especially this tricep here but he's building this back really good this one's just a lot stronger but he can feel all this he can control all this but it's anything below this carpal this wrist joint down there um it's just it's numb he can't he can't feel it he can't control it so it knuckles under it like folds under so he ends up trying to stand on his wrist but that brace which was custom made we have two of those um, it allows him to keep that joint rigid and actually put some weight on it. So it helps him a lot. It really helps his mobility a lot. He still has a hard time, especially on certain terrains, and he runs out of energy, uh, you know, kind of fast. But he's getting better. This boat's actually, I think, improving his endurance. Um, I think each time he comes out, he gets a little, a little better. Because he'll make it through a full day, no problem. He'll be out with us. We've we've had days as long as, you know, 10, 12 hours out here on the water. He'll swim three, four times. He'll be on the beach several times. And uh, he's okay. He makes it through. He sleeps on the way home. It's about a 30 minute drive. And then he sleeps the whole next day and a little bit into the day after that. But he's a good boy. He's a good lake dog and he's figuring it out. So you can see he puts a little weight on that lake. So it's really helping him out. And my beautiful wife, Tanya, taking a little cruise, drying herself off. Is that your mama, huh? Is that your mama over there? What's she doing? What's she doing, bud? What's she doing? All right, guys, we're gonna get some lunch going. We're doing burgers today. Got a beef patty for myself. Gonna throw some sharp cheddar cheese on it. And the wife's got a, what's it called, babe? A Beyond? Beyond Burger. A Beyond Burger patty. She's vegetarian, so it's a veggie one. I've cooked those before. They're actually pretty cool. Uh, I took a bite. It was fine. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. Could definitely tell the difference between a real burger, but it was tasty. And it cooks like a real burger. It's, it's not, we've cooked some weird veggie stuff like Smart Dogs. Those things are like from outer space. It's weird. But uh, this thing cooks just like a beef burger. So let's see what we got going here. So that's the Beyond Plant Burger. Plant-based patty. Yeah. There are two in there, but I only want one today. Okay, we'll cook um, you one of those. And you and Coop have just regular We each lean, get a patty. Yeah, lean beef burgers. Okay, and then uh, a couple corn cobs. Yeah, oh, just nice. Some fiber, yeah. Are those cooked already or? Uh, they were frozen, so you just frozen them. But I mean, I mean, did you cook them? Oh, okay. So I just got to warm those. I just got to warm those. Okay. And then here we got the Kuma 160. Get this bad boy ready. So it's cleanish. The grill's clean. Underneath could get clean, but we're good. Yeah. So, all right. Let's get the gas tank on. We'll get it lit and we'll get lunch going. All right. So I messed up and we have two used, two used tanks. I'm trying to figure out which one's got least amount of fuel. I want to use this one out. So we've got an extra one. If we run out on this one, I'll be able to, to hook the other one up. I'll just keep an eye on the heat. This thing cooks really fast. Um, one of the things I've learned is it's, it's one that you can cook open lid on because it builds heat so fast. This little Kuma 160. They have bigger sizes. There you go. Um, but this one, when you've got that lid closed, this thing's probably, I, I don't know, I don't even have a temp gauge on it, but it's probably 500, 500 plus degrees even on low. So uh, it can really, if you're not careful, it can cook stuff real quick. Um, so 
it's a pretty good grill, but for the price, it's not the cheapest thing. It's all stainless steel. I do wish that it had an igniter built in, and I wish it had a temperature gauge. There's nothing built in, so it's pretty. Uh, it does a good job. It has a nice big drip tray underneath it. It doesn't drip anything on the deck. It's got the quick release pedestal, real good for storage. Um, but I think for this, this price point on this, it should have an igniter built in and it should have a temperature gauge. That's just my, that's just my opinion. So, like I said, I do everything on low. I'm just going to turn on low and it's lit. Already getting hot. Whole burner's lit. I'll just put the lid down, let it heat up on low. And, uh, one of the things I love about the bass buggy, you got all these tool holders. You can put all kinds of stuff there. You can you can keep your spatula there. Uh, it's a really nice setup. This is supposed to be for fishing rods, but we make it work. All right, so Coop gets a beef patty. I get a beef patty. They are lean, so I don't know. I hope they don't fall apart. I'll just be careful when I when I flip them. Yep, we're going. going and you just want one of these yep they look weird but they cook they cook like burgers and Tanya swears they taste like burgers no beyond's really good on just about everything Montreal steak seasoning this is this is great stuff we got in the shaker top here I just give it a little tap it'll stick and then when we flip it I'll do the other side a little bit but this will kind of cook into the meat a little bit nice it's a nice good flavor so I'll get those going and then we'll throw the corn on since we're just warming the corn we'll we'll throw that on in a little bit but yeah you gotta watch this baby it gets it gets hot quick you gotta keep an eye on it and you gotta be ready to flip them all right so today I'm drinking uh, Sierra Nevada fantastic haze Imperial IPA look for this orange can guys now there's another one that looks like this same brands here in Nevada. It's an orange can, but it's not the same beer. Make sure it says Fantastic Haze. It's an IPA. It's 9%, but it does not taste like a 9%. It's not real harsh. It's not like a real hard double IPA. It's got a real good flavor to it. My wife even will get into that a little bit. She's been doing the White Claws. Yeah, this is what I drink. She's got one of every flavor. She's got raspberry, well, grapefruit, you have to. <laughs> black cherry, lime, but this is a good one. 9% gives you a real nice buzz, um, but it's not harsh. It tastes good, it's refreshing, but it's gotta be ice cold. That's why we do the 20 pound bag of ice in the cooler. Nothing but drinks in that cooler. They're always ice cold when you grab them out of that. Hey Han, I like your t-shirt. Where'd you get it? Well, you got it for me. <laughs> and you got the matching uh, first mate shirt. I did, yeah. I like it. It kind of looks like a Sun Tracker logo. I love it. It's, it's kind of a, like old school, you know, it looks vintage. Vintage, yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's my favorite pontoon shirt. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. All right. Like I said, this baby gets hot quick. So we'll go ahead and do a flip, even if it's not quite time. We'll go ahead and flip these over. Looks like they're coming along nicely. Haven't burnt anything yet, so that's good. It's cooking nice. So now we've got them flipped. We'll do a little Montreal on this side. It's just a real good, like, you know, salt, pepper, and there's a little zest in there. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's a little bit of zest. Just really kicks it up a notch. All right, let those go for a little bit. And we'll warm that corn up. All right, these are getting a little firmer. 
still got some blood squishing out of these. I think I'm gonna push these toward the back. And we'll get the we'll get the corn on. Definitely getting some some flare up, but nothing's burning yet, so that's good. Got the corns. Put those over here toward the front. And we're just on low still. Everything's on low. It's on these small grills, especially if you got the lid going down. You need to keep an eye on it. Don't be afraid to check it. Don't be afraid to flip it. It cooks fast. It's not your grill at home that you can turn on low and it's 350 and you got time. This baby's probably four or five hundred degrees. You gotta be ready to flip it. That the flame's real close to the meat, the lid's real close, that thing gets hot real quick. Cooper's waiting for his burger. Oh, he'll get it. You'll get it, bud. He can smell it. You'll get it, buddy. You my best buddy. You'll get it. Don't you worry. Don't <laughs> you worry. He's a good boy. He's a good leg dog, huh, bud? He's a good leg dog. Let's get you a close up. I don't know how close Tanya's getting. Let's get you a close-up of this meat just sizzling. Look at that blood coming out of there. Just sizzling on low. Got the corn going. Just roll it a couple times. Let it warm up. It's already cooked. Ah, such a good day, guys. Such a good day. Got some company over here. They're going to set up a shade canopy. I might walk over there, give the captain a beer, you know, from captain to captain. Never hurts, you know. Just you let them know. <laughs> yeah, you just let them know. Hey, we're sharing a cove, huh, Coop? We're sharing a cove. Here's a beer, you know. And uh, never hurts. Never hurts because you never know. Just like out in the Jeep world, there's something called Jeep karma. I think there's boat karma. And if you take care of people, they'll take care of you. So if our battery went dead or something, we needed a jump. If we treat people right, I think they'll treat us right when we need it. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I agree. I think so. What do you think, Coop? You agree? He Good agree. boat karma? Yeah? Yeah? Pontoon karma? Yeah. I think you can only think about a burger. Oh, right you want the burger. Oh, you my best buddy. I love you, bud. All right, the burgers are looking really good. They're starting to feel a little firm in the middle there. So, are you having cheese, babe, or no, no cheese? No cheese for me. No cheese? No cheese because the veggie, huh? vegan so, i'm gonna go with some sharp cheddar on mine looks like what'd we get babe the ultra thin or something it, they only had ultra thin Jeez. So. well this is no good this is no good guys don't get the ultra thin for the lake Jeez. it will still melt it's well, kind we'll of it, we'll make it work but man this breaks all apart we need i like to have a nice thick slice nice thick cut slice that peels off nice See how this is all breaking apart? That's no good. So, Coop and I are both gonna get cheese. Coop's but you can like get his, two pieces on yours. Coop's like his dad. Coop's just like daddy. He likes sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> so, we'll give him some sharp cheddar. This is, this is, we're, it's we're gonna messy. make it work. I'm not complaining, but we don't, we don't want this ever again. That's for sure. Okay, so we got some cheese on ours. Me and Coop got some cheese. Tony doesn't want any cheese. And we've just been rolling these corns and they're coming along really nice. The wind kind of has us rotating and I'm watching this bush to make sure my anchor's not drifting. As long as we don't go past that bush, we're good. So I like to always have some kind of landmark like that to know if I'm drifting or not. Put the cheese away. And I think we can toast some buns, babe. Yeah, let's toast some buns. These are feeling, these are feeling real nice. So we're doing the brioche buns today. Yep. I love brioche buns. Makes me feel like I'm eating like a, like a pub burger, you know. I thought you were gonna say more like gourmet. <laughs> well, but you know what works. I remember, babe, is when for our honeymoon, when we went to Manhattan. Yeah. And we went to that Irish pub. And whenever I'm at a pub, and I don't know why, I, you know, I'm not like an expert at pubs or anything, but when I go to a pub, I get the burger that's named after the pub. Every pub I've ever been to, they have a burger named after the pub. Those will cook really fast. Yeah. So, so whatever, whatever pub I'm at, 
I get the burger that's named after the pub. So if you're at like St. Patty's Pub and they got a St. Patty burger, get that thing, man. It's going to be good every time. And I just remember they had a brioche bun. It was a really, yeah, see? really good. See, it's already browning. Yeah, it was a really, really good burger on a brioche bun. And it had uh, uh, like smoked bacon on it, the thick cut stuff. And a, some kind of special cheese. I don't remember, but some kind of really good cheese. Hand me a plate, babe. Okay. Patiently waiting. I got a toasted bun for you. I'm going to use a spatula. I'm not going to get too crazy. It's going to bare hand it off of there. Nice. Look at that. Nice toasty bun. Nice. Thank you. Okay, let me get another plate, please. Put this guy here. So as you learn these grills, you kind of find where your where your hot spots are. Like right here is a good spot for toasting a bun. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my burger off. I think it's getting a little toasty. Let's take a look at the bottom of it. Yep, nothing's burnt. Should be a nice. Nice burger, medium, medium well, I think. He doesn't care if his is a little well done. Just move it out of the way so we can keep rolling this corn. The corn's just taking the roll. The corn's just taking a roll all the way across the grill. It's getting nice little, little brown spots on it. Yeah, this does real quick. Okay, let me set up uh, stuff on the table. Okay. Alright guys, so here's a closer look at the Magma Filet Table, which we're using as basically a food prep station. So I have the Scotty Quick Release Mounts on here. So this table just pops right out. I just lift it right up. It sits there on its own weight. It's a pretty heavy and sturdy table. It's, it's really on there. And it kind of leans a little bit out from the boat, which is awesome because things slide towards this, you know, this back wall not toward the deck of the boat which is perfect i couldn't ask for anything more so that's my wife's uh, veggie burger right there the beyond patty this is mine right here and you can see the way it works is we basically have our plates on the front half and we have all of our condiments and stuff on the back half and so when you have people on the boat you know today it's just us but when you have a couple people on the boat they just kind of you know two people stand here one's got their plate here one's got their plate here and they can build their burgers before people were you know sitting over here here just kind of struggling to build stuff now we've got it dialed in with the magma fillet table if i ever catch a fish you better believe i'll fillet that bad boy on here you're laughing i will catch a fish one day i do have a fishing rod i will catch a fish sure that you said if you catch a fish not I, when <laughs> hey i'm gonna try i'm gonna try my best so on mine i got the sharp cheddar cheese already melted I'm just going to uh, get some ketchup on there. I'm not going to do mayonnaise on mine. Uh, let's see. We'll do... Let's throw the uh, let's throw the lettuce on next. Got some nice crisp... What is this, babe? Romaine. Romaine lettuce. Your favorite. Nice crispy. Just fold that over. We got some really good... Look at these tomatoes. Look at these freaking tomatoes. These are from Slough House. Uh, mm -hmm. Pick your own. You go there and you just, they weigh your car and you pick all your own stuff and then they weigh your car when you leave and they know how much you took and you have to take at least a hundred Well, and the best like thing is it's 40 cents a pound. Yeah, and it's the best stuff. It's better than you get from the store. So we got some dill pickle slices on there and we got some fresh red onion. Put a couple rings on there. I don't go crazy with that stuff. The older I get, the more stuff messes with me heartburn this that and the other we won't get into that but look at this could you ask for a better burger i mean look at that with the sharp cheddar cheese all these fresh veggies smash that down that's just a perfect burger and this is on a boat at the lake you know what i'm saying it doesn't get much better than this the how's the burger baby so good look let's at see this thing. let's get a close-up so beyond, beyond patty beyond patty um cooked good very good yes there is a pickle tomato lettuce and onion nice Perfect. nice get a bite of that <laughs> it's ahead, very man. thick get a bite <laughs> yeah guys it's cooked perfect little pink in the middle but definitely cooked 
good flavor, really good flavor. Mm-hmm. Juicy. How is it, babe? So good. Just Coop, yours is coming up, bud. We're just letting it cool down. You'll get yours. Here's a better shot of the burger. I'm about halfway through it. Nice, juicy burger. Not too pink, but just pink enough. Coop agrees, huh, bud? You agree? You want your burger? You want a burger? You want a burger? Well, you'll get one, don't worry. You'll get one, bud. You want your burger? Speak. Speak. Okay, okay, okay. Lay down, lay down. Lay down, bud. He listens real good when he's got food in the mix. There's your burger, bud. This is gonna take him like 15 seconds. Yeah, there's your burger. Cooked perfectly with shark cheddar cheese. You can down it pretty quick when there's no vegetables or buns in your way, huh? Get that cheese, bud. Get that cheese. Yeah, yeah. Get that cheese. Good boy. All right. How did Daddy cook it? Was it good? Did Daddy do a good job? Daddy do a good job, bud. How was it? How was it? <clears throat> Man, he's loving it. There you go, bud. <laughs> All right, guys, deep water swimming by the dam. Here we go. <laughs> Well guys, we're out by the dam now. Just did a nice little deep water swim. I love it because it's this cool, crystal clear water. I mean, look at it. You jump in, you can see your feet no problem. Like I said, it's not Tahoe, but man, it's sure a lot clearer than the coves we've been. And uh, there's the dam right there, not too close to it. Tanya just went for a swim as well. Cooper wants to go for a swim, but it's a little sketchy here for him. He does better near the beach where we can stand and get him back in the boat easily. But yeah, I think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Maybe do a little more swimming. Got our flag up for safety just to let everybody know we might be in the water. And uh, this flag's been great. It just clamps on to the rail there and it's adjustable. I can move it every which way and I can put it anywhere on the boat, but it just lets people know, hey, slow down, look out, avoid us. We got people that might be in the water. Uh, so it's great to have it clamped on. Nobody has to manually hold it. That way, if we're both in the water, it's still giving people a heads up. But yeah, water here is great. So much cooler than the shallow coves, so much cleaner. The dirt's not all kicked up. The sand's not all kicked up. It's just really, really nice over here by the dam. You getting tired, buddy? Huh? Coop getting tired? Oh, he's getting a little drowsy. Huh, buddy? Oh, yeah, he's getting a little drowsy. Okay, you take a nap. are back at our original spot took a cruise went over by the dam over there past those canopies out around there is the dam to the left we went out there had a nice swim just chilled out floated on the boat talked had a couple drinks and uh, then we came back over here looking for a sandy beach and we're right back at our original one we're gonna chill out here for a while probably take coop on the beach one more time Maybe we'll go swim one more time out in the deep water on our way back to the dock and then 
we'll be out of here. It's about 5.48 p.m. So, we'll see. Sometimes I like to stay for the sunsets, but usually my wife likes to get out of here a little sooner than that. So, we'll see how it goes. What's up, buddy? What's going on, Coop? You like this beach, bud? You like this beach? You need a drink? You got a drink? Yeah. Okay. Maybe he can swim one more time here? Okay, good. That'll cool him down. You cooling down, bud? What's up, Coop? You cooling down, big boy? Yeah. Let me cool your head down. Let me cool your head down, huh? Let's cool that head down. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. It's a good boy. Well, babe, we got our beach back. This will cool him down. This will cool him down. It's so awesome to be out with him and my wife, you know. For the last year plus, we just kind of sat around because he couldn't go anywhere. And we finally got his leg brace and you know, every day Tanya exercises his leg, stretches his leg, wraps it, unwraps it, puts the brace on, takes the brace off because you can't just leave it on all day. And You know, she works remotely, so she's at home but works full time just like I do. But I have to go to the office, so, you know, she's doing all of the work by herself for Cooper when I'm at, at the office. When I come home, I try to help out however I can, but... She does the vast majority of it. It's a lot of work, but he's here. He's here and he's happy and he gets excited when you ask him if he wants to go swimming. He, he doesn't look so thrilled when he's actually swimming, but he does want to get in when you ask him. He wants to get in and cool off. He knows it cools him down. Yeah. And he kicks all his legs. He kicks, he kicks the injured leg too. Yeah. You can't really see in this water, but yeah, he's pretty fast. Remember how she was fighting in the pool? Oh yeah, yeah, he's quick. This is so nice though. Sun's going down. Maybe we will catch the sunset, who knows? We'll see. What you think, Coop? What you think, bud? Good day today? Good day today? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh man, what? that was a monster lake sneeze, bud. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Okay, let's go. Okay, ready to take him out? Sunset party break for Coop. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down, mister! <laughs> he has a bit of a greyhound in him. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, easy, easy, guys! Easy, easy! <laughs> Okay, okay, you guys. Okay. Oh, oh. Good boy. So, Catahoula, that's what for dinner that's, that's new <laughs> that's new at the lake anyways that's that's backyard activity 
Is his leg dirty? Do I need to dip him? No, uh, a little bit. That's it. That's it. You dipped it. That, 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 don't go further than that. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Come on. Push his butt up. <laughs> come on. All right. Good boy. What a good boy. Lay down. Oh, you're gonna dig, huh? You digger. Lay down, bud. No, 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 no. Lay down, bud. Okay. <laughs> Lay down, buddy. Lay down. Lay down, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you messed it all up. How are you gonna lay on that? Oh, oh, oh what you, oh my God. When you messed it all up, bud. Come here. Hey, hey. Cool. Uh, you just lay down. Oh my goodness. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You let the dog do the dog stuff. Uh, all right, guys. We're heading out. 741 and we're gonna go swing by the dam real quick I'm gonna do one last deep water swim and then we're hitting the dock it's on the way back so it's no biggie but thanks again for coming along for the adventure make sure you like and subscribe and we'll take you on another one real soon I think we got a couple other lake adventures boat adventures before the season's over um, we did find a place that has boat in camping which sounds pretty neat. Basically, you can only get to the campground from a boat. So, might hit them up, see if we can get a campsite. Maybe take her parents. They've got a, a Rottweiler, Rocky the Rottweiler. Take Cooper and uh, go camp there. That might be a fun, fun little adventure there. So, what do you think, babe? Good day at the lake? Yeah, good day. Yeah. Then ask for more. I agree. And here you guys go. A little glimpse of the sunset. Coop's worn out. He just did his last potty. He's done swimming. <laughs> How you feeling, bud? You okay? He wants to go home. Yeah, he's ready to go home, go to his bed, and go to sleep. So, well, all right. Dinner. Yeah, he'll get yeah. some dinner. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>